how's it going everyone and welcome back to another video so this one is a power tune digital video so I'm going to be making a new layout now I did put it up in the power tune owners group um, that I was going to be doing this video and I got everyone to sort of do a wee vote on something they would like uh, I put up a suggestion um, and it got picked um, so it is going to be the family guy Peter vs chicken fight scene will be the rev counter uh, so that'll be the theme for this layout that I'm going to be doing uh, I'm going to try and go into a bit more depth with how I do this because um, there's always questions every time I do one of these uh, it's a real balance of trying not to have like a 10 hour long video and also trying to show what I do uh, these things take me a good amount of time to be honest um, I'm getting a little quicker at them and this one I am going to base loosely off my Street Fighter one same sort of deal at fight scene um, so I'm going to be saving a bit of time in there stealing some of my um, well modifying some files I've already done but you'll still get the basics of it um, and I will try and get this as informative as possible without dragging on if I can and if I do I apologize uh, so yeah first things first um, start with the concept so family guy chicken fight scene so the way I see it in my head is there's multiple fight scenes through family guy with Peter vs the chicken um, they do tend to drag on a bit um, and you've got to think about the amount of detail you can provide as a rev counter sweep. Um, so what I've done is I've gone to Old Faithful YouTube and searched Peter vs Chicken. I've gone through a few and quite like the looks of this one. Video quality is not too bad. Um, and you know, he fights a chicken, so it meets the brief. But it's very long. So what I'm going to do is I've um, downloaded that video <laughs> onto my computer and I've got it into uh, my editing software. Now, um, I use Filmora, but what you use is not really important. It's not the biggest deal. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my computer while I'm talking to you. So what I've done is now loaded that clip. Um, I won't show who that's pirated through. Um, loaded that clip onto my uh, editing software, and I have trimmed it down to something that's probably still too long and still going to need trimming later. Um, but something that's slightly more reasonable to have as a rev counter sweep. Um, just sort of cut a few scenes together uh, and if you didn't notice then I did a good job. Um, and that end part there, I'll probably uh, loop that uh, for when you're on limiter. Um, so I probably will end up trimming that a little bit more. Um, it's hard. So, how I've done things in the past is basically I've made state images into GIFs. So you've got two options with PowerTune into uploading things. Is um, you can upload a state image, which is image appears at X target. So say using revs. Um, image appears at a thousand rpm uh, or it displays x image and then that is replaced by this image at x rpm but you can't turn things on and off and on so you've got to layer them when you do that so you have an image turn on at a thousand rpm and then at 1200 rpm you'll have another image but that'll just overlay over the top one so when you're at like say 9000 rpm there could be 
a hundred images laid on top of each other. You just can't tell because you can only see the top image. So that's one way to do it, state images, um, so that when you rev and it sweeps through the rev, it'll make a GIF because it'll just step through all the images at set RPM points. And obviously the, the finer you set the RPM points, the nicer it'll look as it goes through. Um, so I could break that scene up into a hundred images um, and then stagger those images at a set RPM point. Stage one, make a thing, make a plan. Stage two, find your images, in which case for me it is the video which I have then trim down to something useful and I've saved it I'm then going to convert that to a GIF so that I can break it up into smaller GIFs to do staggered GIFs or I can just break it up into individual images one of the two um, which I'll then edit and save 4,000 times in Photoshop because uh, that's how you do it and that's why it takes me so long but yeah, I'll um, carry on and hopefully come back to you soon with something more interesting. So what I'm going to do now that I've got my selection that I like, I'm going to export and I am going to export it as a GIF. And I'll save that to my computer. I've brought that up in Photoshop, I'm just going to check. Yep, so I've got all the individual images for the GIF. So this is, let's see, 652 images. So I think that that's quite excessive, <laughs> even for me, uh, to do that as a rev sweep. Um, I mean, you can divide however many stages you want by 652 and then do that as a set RPM for all of them. But you, can be done um, but I am going to be better off breaking it into sections so I'll have a GIF section at the first sort of 1500 RPM um, where it just kind of repeats and then a GIF section at the end where it repeats and then a sweep through the middle I think that's going to be the best way to do it um, but yeah I'm just going to crack on with that, separating it up, and I'll show you how I do that. Right, so quickly I might as well inform you of my mistake that I made so you don't make the same. Um, I created that last GIF at 30 frames per second, um, which is why I had 600 images. Um, so I've, I've dropped that down to as low as it will let me go on this program. It was 10 frames per second, um, if that's still too many. There is an online one I've used in the past where I can probably select to be slightly lower um, to try and cut down on the number of frames in the GIF. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So now that's 231 images. Uh, still excessive, but much better than 650. So that's framing okay. Um, and check. Right, yeah, each frame is different, so that is good. It's not multiples in a row of the same thing. So yeah, I can start now to break this up into a section for idle and a section for rev limit and then the middle section I'll use for the stage sweep. So I've already decided to trim the opening slash um, sort of low RPM sequence to be just the guys eyeballing each other up. Um, so on Photoshop anyway all you do for that was I'll stop this um, select what you don't want which I can do press shift and select a pile when I'm doing this two-handed. I know I should be using screen record but I'm terrible. Uh, and just 
delete it until you're left with what you want. Obviously you've still got your master copy as well. This is just, um, I'm going to now save this as, and this will be the low RPM, and then I'm going to do the same for the rev limit, make a loop out of that, and then everything in between I'm going to save as individual images. So now that I've saved that, I'm going to delete everything I don't want again, which is the opening scenes. Because I've already got a GIF of that saved. So everything from 69 forwards. I've selected and I am just going to delete the frames. Yes, I'm going to go to the final fight scene. So what I've decided is I'm going to have two loops going. So say your rev limit is, say, 7,500 RPM. I'm going to have this first section here on repeat without the blue uh, from, say, 6, 8 or 7 to 7,5. And then I'm going to have it goes blue when you're actually just on the limit. So that you can have him, Peter, just bashing the shit out of the chicken for a while uh, before you hit the limiter. I think that'll be a good way to do it. So yeah, when you're higher up in the RPMs, you're going to have this on repeat. And then the next thing I'll do is a repeat image for the limiter. And so now we've got this one here on repeat. Just these GIF, well this GIF. Uh, for the actual limiter and I might have something else pop up like finish him or something I don't know I'll think of that when I when it comes to it um, but at least I've got the basis of my rpm sweep um, mapped out um, the next thing I'm going to do is go see how many images I've got in between these sections of gifs I've got and then divide that by my RPM range that I want and uh, start to save them as um, individual RPMs. So now this is just the middle section uh, without the GIFs that I've already previously saved either side. Um, just these, so there is, oh, I'll have to stop it to count it, but I think it's a hundred or so images. Um, so I'm going to divide that by the RPM set that I've got left and see if it's going to be excessive or not. Um, if I need to trim it down some or whether I just leave it as is. So here I'm just using a bit of paper to help me think. Um, so I'm going to have a GIF at your cruise sort of speed. 0 to 2000, I might end up dropping that um, if this ends up being a really awkward number. And then 6 8 for them to be on the ground punching each other, and 7 4 plus for it to switch to blue for the actual limiter. So that gives me um, this section in here, um, which is 4800 RPM of uh, images. So I will of RPM, so I'll divide that by uh, the images I've got, and I'd see how many RPM it would be per state image. So this is me just thinking. Um, started off doing it the hard way, trying to figure it out when I could have just gone 144 times a square number, 35, 5040. So pick my start point, 1700 RPM. It's 5040. 6740 so that is if I want to have 144 stages uh, I don't believe I've done anything even remotely close to that um, it might be too much I've decided this was going to be way too much work and if your RPM number is so small and you have so many images when you really step on it it's going to be like watching it in super fast forward so you're not even going to see half of it. So I have trimmed it down to 66 images. I've cut a good chunk of the scene out, but it still kind of flows. Um, so 66 images. 
So one every 75 RPM is uh, 4,950 range for the images. So I've got 0 to 1,700 RPM is idle GIF. 1,775 to 6,650 is state image every 75 RPM. 6,700. Um, the GIF of them punching each other on the ground starts. And 6,3 plus is the limiter when it goes blue um, and these well this one here I guess will be um, sort of user adjustable you could take that up higher um, or slightly lower if you wanted to so I've just created a new folder which I'm going to save this first file in and I'll do this 66 times so you won't want to watch me do it 66 times but you got to make sure you save it as a PNG um, and I'm going to start using some code now so that I can find everything together so FG will be the start of um, everything when it goes into its final save version for this so that when you look for your images uh, everything's all in one spot because it does it all in numerical order on the power chain. So FG RPM1 I'm gonna have a separate folder just for now just for these RPM images save. That is one of 66 That is my 65, one of them was a double up, so yeah, ended up with 65 uh, individual PNG files and they were uh, labelled in a nice order so that I can um, attach those as state images. Now I'm sure some of you probably watched me doing that painstakingly, you were like, dude, why don't you just press like, command WZ5 and click it all at once. Um, there's no shortcut for quick export for PNG um, and if there is tell me <laughs> I don't want to do it this way you know this is painful I'm just battling my way through the only way I know how so I'm no Photoshop expert to be honest man. like I get the job done not in the most elegant way, but I get the job done. So yeah, if you got a tip for doing that faster, all ears, that took ages. Well that is it for part one of this uh, Powertune layout video. I wouldn't call it a tutorial as such, but more like uh, how I'm doing it. <laughs> um, as with most things in life, uh, preparation is everything and as you can see, there's a lot of prep work and back-end work that's sort of involved in it. Now, I normally skip over a lot of this stuff, but I've always had people ask for more details. This is for you. I hope you appreciate it. Um, so if you're here, you've made it this far, you're a battler. Thank you. Um, you may as well subscribe. You've committed pretty hard already. Because um, there will be another video coming out very soon where I will bring all of this together. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next one.